this is my invitation to participate in the second International Dado Light Lighting Competition. The first one was eminently successful. Over 200 entries from over 30 countries. In the following, we will show you again the invitation to the first competition. The hopes, the expectations remain the same. Let's learn from each other. This time, your choice of equipment is expanded. Use your own data lights or extra ones which we offer. The choice will this time include, again, the classic 5 light kit, but also a complete standard LED kit and a miniature LED kit, as well as elements from the light stream and EFLECT range. The miraculous world of parallel and reflected light. My name is Dado. This year is a very special year for me. It is the 50 year anniversary of my company and the 30 year anniversary of Dado Light. On this special occasion, we want to let you participate in our international Dado Light competition. In the past, we've already done a lot of small competitions. Usually for this we had three setups and three individuals or groups. We never took care to keep records of these competitions. Here are just a few examples of the results. Now, many of these results were absolutely astounding and creative. And that brought me to the idea to start this international competition. But this time we want to invite you in such a way that other colleagues and image creators can share your activities and learn how you achieved these images. We already have a bunch of lighting tutorials and now we're asking you to add to the wealth of ideas so that others may learn from your ideas and creativity. You can win! We have more than 30 prizes motivated by the 30th anniversary of Datolite. The total value of these prizes is approximately 100,000 euro. Many of the winning videos, but also some of the ones that don't win, will become part of our series of lighting tutorials. Of course, you can publish your entries freely but you will also allow us to publish them with our series of tutorials. This will always be done showing you as the author of the individual video. Thus, you will become a member of our club of lighting teachers. Who can participate? Absolutely everybody. Seasoned and experienced directors of photography, lighting cameramen, gaffers, photographers, students, any newcomer, no limitations. Work on your own or within a group. Each entry will be considered for a prize, regardless whether the entry is from one author or a group. How? Register with the agent or distributor for Datalight in your country or a participating dealer. We will temporarily supply, through the responsible agent or distributor, a lighting kit for your work. With your distributor or dealer, you will have to arrange a date and duration. When you want to shoot the competition video and how many days you will need the lighting kit. You also have to arrange shipment details and security. It will be left to the discretion of the data light distributor to make such arrangements, also if there are any reasons to decline such a cooperation. 
This lighting kit for your entry video will be a classic Datolite Portable Studio Kit with five lights and accessories, which we will describe a little later in this video. The prizes. There will be 30 prizes, including many of our new LED lighting kits. These will allow practically all the lighting options, like the classic Datolite Portable Studio Kits, which will be supplied for your entry, including accessories for background creation and special effects. But these LED lighting kits will offer also some additional advantages, like the following. Low power consumption, making battery powered lighting possible, no cable on the ground, easier setup. Dimming with no color change. Very smooth with our proprietary dimming algorithms for smooth dimming, even at the lower end of the output. That's typical for all of our focusing LED lights. Bicolor versions. That is tunable color temperature from 2700 to 6000 Kelvin, allowing to adapt to most ambient light situations simply by turning the control knob. Lower forward heat emission, longevity of the light source, but at the same time maintaining all the unique data light features of the clean beam concept with no stray light precision lighting instruments, even light and color distribution. And it offers the use of all the unique optical light shaping accessories, which may not all be included in the prizes, but which you can add later on. Like for example, aspherical wide angle attachments, imagers, projection attachments, which then allow background effect projections with all of our lights, different patterns, different colors. Now some of these will be included in the kits alongside with steel gobos. With the focusing LED lights and the projection attachments, you now have yet another option. Because of the low heat emission of the LED, it is now possible to project images that you may have taken a few minutes ago on your iPhone. Print them out on a suitable gel or even taking any effect image that you may find on your computer. Modifying it in Photoshop for off-angle projections, straightening out the keystoning effect. Then there are wide-angle effects which stretch the beam in one defined direction. Thus, when putting several lights next to each other, you can create a continuous river of light. Later on, you can always add an endless variety of creative tools, which may not all be included in the prizes you win, but can be bought additionally at any time. And this will represent a door opener an amazing world of creative effects. The subject of your video entry. Totally your choice. The situation, the style, single person, multiple persons, product, art object or your pet. Now the lighting competition can be done by you in any style. Could be done with noticeable lighting or even dramatic, could be done in a gentle, subtle way, unnoticeable lighting. Important, your explanation. How did you choose the placement, angle, height, focus and dimming of each individual light? Why this way? Also, you explain and show and demonstrate less favored positions for each light. What made you choose just this very particular approach? Ideally, this should then become a learning experience for your viewers. 
What length? Again, no firm rules. Maybe five or ten minutes? Single or multiple entries? More than one entry can be accepted for each participant. The language. If your on-camera explanations are in another language than in English, please provide us with an English language translation. Now the video upload. You should upload your video on YouTube, Vimeo or any other platform and send the link to your country's agent, distributor, dealer and at the same time to us at Tato Weigert Film in Munich within the competition period. If needed, do not forget to include an English translation of the words. How do we choose the winners? The quality of the image, creative ingenuity, and the level and quality of your explanation. Your permission to use and disseminate your video under Creative Commons license, whether in original or abbreviated form, always will identify you as the author, unless you explicitly don't want this. Handling of the loaned equipment kit. Well, just please handle with reasonable care, but any accidental damage or any defect due to normal wear and tear will be at our risk. Returning of the loaned equipment, that you have to agree with your supplier, dealer or distributor. An example of procedure. We will now show you one procedure just as an example. Now this is mainly intended to introduce the range of equipment and accessories which you will find in your competition equipment. This is not an indication of our expectations for your entry. Now this competition kit mainly consists of two soft lights in different sizes, three focusing lights with normal accessories, one imager, projection attachment, for this a selection of steel gobos and three background effect filters. Five lighting stands with a flexible stand extension, many other accessories. A complete list of this you can find on our website dealing with the international competition. In this example, we have a person sitting in front of a neutral background in a surrounding with little or no ambient light. We may start with a soft light as a key light and try to determine the best angle to catch a reflex in both eyes and still give some feeling of three-dimensionality to the face. Different angles away from the camera axis may be chosen for a more three-dimensional impression or even dramatic. Choose a suitable height for the desired effect. For fill light, you may choose a suitable reflective surface, which is not included in the kit, or a second soft light. You can use a separate light, but you can also use reflected light. And reflected light has a unique beauty of its own. Sometimes it can be much more lovely, amiable, unnoticeable, but very helpful in a very special way. Uh, so we don't need to place a fill light as a soft light or hard light. We can also use a reflector. Now we can go and try another approach. We could put this reflector underneath the camera lens. And then we can try and put a light onto the reflector so it has something to do. It has some light 
that it can reflect. And the nice thing about the data light is this clean beam where we can shine a very precise light pretty much directly under the lens of the camera without causing a flare on the lens. And now, now we can even determine how large the reflector should be. We don't change, change the size of the reflector, but we change the size of the lit area on the reflector because the data light can spot so tight that we can light only one part of the reflector and have a smaller soft light. Or then we flood it out a little bit and we use the entire surface of the reflector and what we can see is that in the close-up that we're creating a second reflex in the lower part of the eye. Again, explain choice, angle, position, and height for the second light or for the reflector. On both soft lights you use a louvre or a grid to keep the light away from the background and the camera, allowing us the separate illumination of the background without any interfering spill from the key or fill light. Now you may want to dim the intensity on the fill light to achieve the desired contrast ratio between key and fill light. Then you choose one of the focusing lights as a backlight. This backlight you may at first run at full power to define angle and position and later on you dim it down to make it less obtrusive. You can balance the backlight between hair and shoulders if necessary because of different reflected values or brightnesses. You can do this with a barn door or with a set of half scrims. The next focusing light you may use as a kicker on the side of the face which is opposite the key light. This has to be done with great subtlety. This can help to bring more three-dimensionality, sculpting to the face. It's not always necessary, not even always desirable. And if you don't want to use the kicker, you can use this lighthead as an additional light for an accent or for the background. Now, the remaining focusing light you will use for the background. With this you can create an evenly lit background or slash of light using the barn doors with different positions and orientations. Or, maybe better, use the imager, the projection attachment, to project a background pattern, like a steel gobo. You balance the intensity so that you don't distract from the foreground or object. You use color gel filters to indicate the time of the day, be it a blue filter for night effect or an amber filter for an afternoon sunlight effect. Especially when you're using a camera with a small sensor and a short focal length, it will be very helpful to throw the background projection out of focus to create the illusion of space and depth. Now you may want to use the fourth light to create another layer in the background effects to enhance the feeling of greater distance, three-dimensionality if you don't want to use this light as a kicker. If you choose any particular color for the background projection, you may also want to use a similar color on the backlight and the kicker to create the uniformity of the light character which is hitting or illuminating the person from the backside. Instead of the gobo projection, you can also use our background effect glasses. Again, 
you will see a completely different character of these projections, whether the projection is in focus or thrown out of focus. Yet a further version can be the sandwich. Combining a steel gobo with such a background effect filter. Now, all that we're doing here now has nothing to do with rules or even any suggestions of what we expect you to do. It is merely one example to run you through the range of equipment and accessories that we will provide for you. How you use them is completely up to you. Subject, situation, the style of lighting, the character, all up to your creative choices. If you choose to compose your entry with one single light only, that would also be perfectly okay. If you add some additional helping devices, like reflective surfaces or gadgets, to further cut or lower the light levels, that's also fine. If ambient or available light plays a role in your entry, that's okay. Just to show you that there are no rules, you're totally free in your creative choices and procedures. Now, good luck with your entry. We are very much looking forward to receive it. Yours, Dado.